Over the years, Steve Maxwell's done, I think it's three smallish runs, five or six drums of specialized Craviotto snare drums. And these little runs have basically been geared towards honoring uh, specific drummers or, or, so, or in this instance a specific era of music. Now this was, uh, this drum is actually from the Super Swing Tribute uh, run and this drum is number three of six. Uh, the other, I think it's the other two runs, the first one was uh, dedicated to some of the great jazz drummers and the other one was dedicated to uh, the memory of Joe Morello to raise funds for his widow after he passed away. And I've got one drum from each of those other two runs. And I'll do those at a later date. But this, as I said, is the Super Swing Tribute Drum. This was, this, this drum actually, well this small run came into being before there was an option to have uh, a Super Swing Drum. Uh, which I think Craviotto still offer. But uh, the... Th 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 there's a few things that are obviously different to uh, your more run-of-the-mill Craviotto snare drum and in fact you know pretty much all of the other Craviotto snare drums that I have. Now first obvious one is the wood hoops. Now this sort of hoop as you can see there's about an inch there and um, yeah, you really have to alter your playing slightly to because you, you, I mean you can rim shot them, but you you know it's it's not a heavy rim shot. It's more of a sort of an accent uh, rim shot uh, or the type of playing that I probably can't do. Um, delicate, basically. But um, sonically, I think this sort of hoop really does open up the sound of. Any, well, any drum that has this type of hoop design on it, um, really, as I said, a nice open uh, sound, and and I really like that. Um, uh, you know, it's it's a it's a nice different sound. Um, next obvious feature, uh, certainly in terms of the other sort of Craviotto snares, is. This was, I think, the first drum. It may actually be the only drum. I uh, may, or I think there may be one other drum that has the um, the cast lug on it uh, as well. Uh, I think the other one is in the house actually, which was a custom build. In terms of other features of the drum, th this has got a rounded edge on it. Uh, it's I don't know if you call it. I don't know if it's a baseball bat. I'd have to look, I can't remember exactly. It's got a very rounded edge on the bottom. I think that's the same on the top as well. Um, the snare bed's kind of to about there or so, so it's quite a wide snare bed. Uh, you've got a nice cut out there for the hoop. You've got the, um, I think it's the AK strainer on there, so it's not got a trick. Again, it's very smooth, it's very delicate. This did come with a logo head on it, but uh, I've put a uh, just a straight ambassador on there. It's still got the original logo head on the bottom, which is just a clear uh, ambassador, and it's got the Craviotto wires on it there as well. Um, there, as is, well, obviously there were six drums in this uh, in this particular run. Um, I don't recall any of the other ones, uh, but I know they are still they are still on Steve's website. You know, there's there's a, f a few of these drums knocking about. Like I said, sound wise, they do sound different to the more sort of run of the mill Craviotto snare drum, and I like that. It's very, it's it's lovely. I've only done one tensioning on the sound file. The reason for that is quite simply, um, this is at a, yeah, there's, there's, there's some play in that there. But the reason why I've only done one tensioning is quite simply because I like it the way it's tensioned right now and I am too scared to mess around with it in case I lose it. If, if I had to describe this this drum, the sound of this drum in one word, it would be open. And hopefully you will hear that.